I am reading one report that indicates the shortages in the fertilizers and the pesticides are likely to take at least to 2025 before they start coming into balance, and it could be longer. This is crisis kind of stuff. Again, another thing, not gas uh, being part of this crisis that nobody is talking about. Typical government coming into a new administration, cutting oil, satisfying and appeasing an extremely ignorant progressive left. They don't have a clue about anything. They don't know anything about unintended consequences. All they know is, well, this is carbon. It's not good for the environment. Well, eating is good for the environment because it keeps us all working. But they're not worried about that. They're not concerned about that. They're not concerned about food. They're not concerned about famine. They're not concerned about uh, the poor. They're not concerned about any of that. They've got a laser-focused agenda that will not allow them to look at anything beyond the laser. Ignorance is catching up with us in dramatic fashion. And guess what? Ignorance abounds in Washington. The question is, do they care? I would submit that they don't care. Maybe this is the crisis they're looking for to complete their agenda. They may only have 12 months to get their agenda finished. Assuming that by all accounts, it is impossible for them to hold the house. Those progressives, they're going to lose. Not to mention you've got, I think, 12 declaring that they're going to retire. All Democrats, they're going to retire because they don't want to get fired, which they're going to do. I mean, the odds of winning and holding the house is almost impossible that means they've got 12 months really about nine months to get bills to the floor and pass for the progressive agenda a crisis would be a great advantage for them hey remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.